Okay, developing a professional approach. This is something which I've been seeing with some of the, even some of the experienced agents. I just want to um, encourage us to do again. I would highly recommend you make notes on this. Habits and rhythms. What is a morning routine? There's a great book called The Miracle Morning. Now, there again, I read it six months ago and it talks about waking up at, I think, five in the morning and then you do 10 minutes of, of silence, you do 10 minutes of meditation, 10 minutes of exercise, 10 minutes of reading, 10 minutes of whatever. Um, and, um, and eventually I've seen the light. It helped, really helped that I gave up drinking. Um, <laughs> sounds like I'm an alky. Um, but yeah, I mean, even then, I, I like I've been. I said to myself, I'm not drinking until the end of September. But when I'm in Joburg now, I thought, well, I, I'll have a glass or two of wine because I love it. Um, and even my wife was going. To, we had we had a, we just had a braai last night, a very brief braai in between my my doing my work. And my wife was saying, you know, um, maybe we should have had some wine, just liquor because we like it. And um, and uh, I have a good, I have a great wife. And I was thinking, no, I'm not going to have it, not because. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be sacrificial. I'm trying to be. Uh, 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 trying to be. Um, uh, trying to be kind of woes me. But I thought also, I need to work later in the night. I need to get early the, up earlier this morning. I need to give my A game for ten hours today. And therefore, if I have a glass of wine last night, it's not going to be. I'm not going to do my best today. So that 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 wouldn't have been my decision making six months ago. So I'm 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 very much a, a journey of, of of growth here. Um, because I realize I can't give my best if I have too much, if I have two or three glasses of wine the night before. And I can't get over half to four in the morning if I'm doing that. So it's a journey for me as to, and even then my mornings now, I'm getting better at it. I'm trying to be more professional in, or more, because otherwise I can get over half past four and I'll be around for two hours looking at News 24 or looking at another YouTube channel. Um, so, um, so just, but it's basically be intentional. Um, you can read the Miracle Morning book if you want. That's, there's another one. It's the six a.m. The six a.m. club is another book. But yeah, having some kind of morning routine or being disciplined in the morning um, is is critical. I think it's really important because that's what I'm seeing all the world's successful agents doing. They all speak. If there's one thing in common, they're all talking about their morning routine. So I, I, I'm not. I wish it were different, but it's the way it is. You determine your diary, not others or circumstances. So when we're busy in real estate, and I've got lots of listings, um, so when we're doing lead generation, we don't have any listings, we, it's quite easy just to say, well, this is my diary and that's it. When you've now got 10 mandates, and I'm also leased, doing five leasings, suddenly your diary is a lot busier because now you're getting all these inquiries, you're getting these, uh, et cetera. I'm just encouraging us from day one is to say, I determine as best as possible what happens in my diary. It's, uh, I put my personality in the diary. I don't let the diary dictate to me or circumstantial people dictate to me. And then just having some level of consistency. What are the routines that you do? Okay. All of us have a routines anyway, whether we like it or not. Um, I had a routine where at six o'clock I have a I have some red wine and then my evening was done. I, I then, I've been trying the Netflix for three hours. And then try and get up at six the next morning. Um, so that was my routine, whether I like it or not. I, I had to be, pro, I had to be, I had to be um, pro, proactive in changing my routines uh, to then to have a consistency. Okay, so just that thing I just wanted to add on for habits and rhythms: have a morning routine, uh, you determine your diary, and um, have consistency. Another thing I just want to talk about is how we present ourselves. So it's your personal brand. So that comes down to um, how do we dress? I was actually listening to a podcast the other day. Someone's been in the industry for 39 years. Her, she never goes out without having made herself up. No, that's not really my style, obviously. Um, and I'm not saying that should be everyone's style. But how do I present myself to the world as an estate agent? Um, it, it's just, um, I know it for myself as a leader of chorus, if, if I come to work in shorts and t-shirts, everyone's going to come in less than that because everyone steps down. Me as a leader of, of the chorus um, rental business, everyone's going, to step, everyone's going to dress one step down from me. So as much as I don't like wearing a collared shirt and I prefer to be in shorts and t-shirt, um, I, I, whenever I'm in front of my, my team, I make sure that I'm dressed up. In fact, what I'm even doing, what, what I was doing beginning of this year because I work from home 95% of the time, I was I was having a, sh uh, a t shirt and shorts and and just bare feet. I am proactively now 
dressing up when I sit at my desk now. I dress up, I specifically have my jeans on, I have a collared shirt and I wear, sho wear shoes. Partly it's kept on winter, it's cold. And partly it's because even when it was warmer the other day, I still dress myself up because it's a way I'm presenting myself internally to those I'm presenting myself on Zoom, even though I'm seeing uh, you know, 10 hours on Zoom a day. So it's how we're presenting our personal brand. It's, it's how do I answer, as I said in the next one, how do I answer my emails and the telephone? Well, I, I speak to lots of agents and the, some of the way the agents um, answer the phone is not very professional. I've dealt with some of many of our experienced agents, the way they answer the emails is not very professional. Um, you know, and I'm actually, because I'm referring some of our, uh, our landlords to some of our agents internally within Joburg and Cape Town. Uh, and I'm not saying anything personal here. I mean, one of our agents is level. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get, I get a one word answer. Well, I get, I get the, the, the agent um, emailing the, the attorney or the landlord. And I'm saying, well, hang on. Is that really the best way we can email our landlord? Are we saying, uh, dear or hi, Mr. Jones? Um, Thank you for your email. Um, I, I will be getting back to you with evaluation shortly. Uh, in the meantime, here's our brochure. Uh, there, there's a follow up to an attorney. Dear um, Mr. Jones, uh, please can you follow up with regard to this deal? Or otherwise, um, let's say the attorney does come and answer, it's just a forward to the landlord or to the owner, as opposed to saying, Dear Mr. Jones, Below, please find communication from the attorney with regards to the status of your deal. You know what I'm saying? It's a, how are we are communicating. Are we are we taking? Oh, Siddles in. Awesome. Hey man, how's it? Welcome. Have a, have a seat, and we're looking at the screen there. Why is that there? It shouldn't be like that. But anyway, this is what it is. Um, okay, cool. So I just want to say how we are presenting ourselves. Are we? Um, that's both personally and online, the way we communicate, the way I answer the phone. Um, am I aware of how I am? And as I said, it's a bit of a bugbear when I've had to email a couple of our agents to say, maybe there's a better way of you, if that's the way you're presenting. If you look at Pam Golding's listings, if you look at Sotheby's listings, if I deal with Pam Golding as an agency, there's a particular way that you expect from Pam Golding, and they deliver on that. They deliver on it. What are we delivering as my personal brand, as Timber or David? What, what am I delivering? How am I looking? Even the presentation I've got today, is it looking unprofessional? I don't think it's looking particularly professional, but at least I'm trying to see the format of it. You know what I'm saying? Is it consistent? Even the size of the font, is it consistent from, from slide to slide? Am I, is the signature at the bottom of my email consistent? And Clinton, in fact, in Cape Town is very good at this. The, the, the communication when I deal with him is at a level of communication. I'm not saying it's a level of professionalism. I'm not saying it's super fancy, but there's thought to it. I'm encouraging us on our personal brand and the communication. How am I online? Now, some of the, I'm talking, a lot of what I'm saying today is conceptual. And what I mean, it's, it's a bit of theory, but it's raising the bar when it comes to when you are doing more communication. Many of us are not doing a lot of communication, but let's start with being aware as a professional as to how I'm in the marketplace. Okay. Dress code. Um, now, we don't have to be a, a dress code, in my view, which is sustainable. Now, when you're at your first interview, for example, you're going for a job interview, you're going to be super, like, very like you're going to a wedding or something. That's just not sustainable. What is a sustainable dress code for you? Okay. Um, you don't have to get expensive shoes and expensive jeans or expensive chinos, but something which, which is in, within your budget. And even if you just wear the same thing over and over and over again, but it neat, it's neat and sustainable. Okay. I just want to really encourage us on our personal branding, that all of us are working independently. It's not like you're working at the local Pam Golding office and you have to have a dress code. Um, I'm relying on each one of you all over the country. You've got to have your own sense of discipline. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so we, we're talking about um, developing, developing your own professional approach. It's your own habits and rhythms and it's, um, it's how you present yourself. Okay. 
And the other thing is just relationship management. So you've got to maintain relationships with multiple people consistently and well. Yeah. Uh, for, from a real estate business perspective, your business is your relationships. Your business is your relationships that you have. Uh, as, as we've heard before, he or she who has the most conversations wins. Now, he or she who has the most conversations wins. In order to maintain those relationships with multiple people consistently and well, you need a CRM system. Now, we haven't really pushed, we're now getting onto the skill levels, guys, um, when it comes to CRM and scripts. Uh, there again, all of you are going to be at different stages of your, of your real estate journey. But I'm saying to be a consistently high-performing agent, you're going to have to run your CRM system. Not because I'm saying you have to, it's because when I look at other agents who are performing, they have a CRM system. Fortunately, we have PropCon, which is awesome. Okay. Um, if you go to propcon.co.za, it is the, the preferred um, CRM system that Steve Johnson, a lot of Steve Johnson's, most of Steve Johnson's teams are using it. Steve Johnson's done a lot of work with the PropCon team to make it work and flexible and practical for us as EXP agents. Um, there's also an amazing amount of support and help within PropCon for Sierra that day. So basically I'm saying a relation to management. Our job as estate agents is to develop and have as many uh, relationships as possible. Steve Johnson on his um, the Lead Generation Blueprint talks about having 100 um, on our A-list, 100 people on our A-list. How do we maintain relationship with them? We can use a spreadsheet. Which, which does work. Um, it's just not as helpful or user-friendly as having a CRM system, customer relationships as management system. So um, now we're talking about how do we have a professional approach? We're talking about habits and rhythms. We're talking about having, um, uh, how do we present ourselves to the market? And thirdly is relationship management. How are we maintaining those relationships? Now, um, you cannot have consistent good relations with people unless you're having a CRM system. Um, let's look at PropCon, the video on PropCon uh, very briefly. So I think one day I'll get a fancy computer, which is going to be quicker. I'm just going to share, thanks guys for your patience. I'm just going to share PropCon. I do have it somewhere. Where is it now? Have it. Share the screen. Okay, let's watch this video. Designed a revolutionary, one of a kind program for real estate agents in South Africa. This is not another CRM system. It's predominantly a buy and match program that's going to help you make more sales and help you stay on top of your database. Continue watching to see a short explanation in three minutes. If it piques your interest, click on the link above, create your test profile, and we will be in touch with you soon. CropCon, connecting your clients to your property listings. PropCon mainly stands on three legs, your listings, your contacts, and your calendar. The thing that keeps it all together is the powerful communication tools shared by email, SMS, and WhatsApp. You can load multiple different wish lists per contact that will automatically match up with listings that fit their criteria. The PropCon system is very clever in guiding you all the way which prevents you from missing any potential deals. How awesome is that? Share professional-looking online brochures with your clients, which are personalized with your branding and company logo. Each client has their own unique unlisted profile online with all their property matches and a place to easily unsubscribe from receiving SMS and emails. Every interaction with your client will be recorded in detail to give you a delivery report and feedback about how many times they viewed a specific listing and at what time, so that you can follow up and arrange viewing appointments. 
Visit the interactive dashboard at any time to learn how you can improve your efforts and stay on top of your database. The main aim is to help you stay focused on income bearing activities rather than getting caught up in unnecessary admin. Use a powerful calendar feature to stay in touch with your contacts by loading their birthdays, house anniversaries, follow-up reminders, meeting entries, to name a few. You can choose to work in your own bubble or decide to branch out and start or join a partnership, which means you can share stock or contacts with colleagues in your team. This means that if a new buyer or listing enters the group, the match will be made and the sale will follow. Everyone benefits. You can join a billing account where someone else pays for you, for example, a company principal, or you can manage your own payment where your data belongs to you. Propcon billing works with a wallet system, so keep it in the positive balance to keep on using the system. While we're on that point, you can use Propcon on a month-to-month -month basis and you can cancel at any time. Propcon is not searchable on the internet, which means that all communication between you and your clients are private and secure. We are constantly working on fresh new ideas to share with you on a regular basis. So keep an eye open for new videos or articles shared on your dashboard that will help you grow your business to the career of your dreams. Feel free to get in touch with us via WhatsApp with any suggestions or questions. We love hearing from you. Okay, so just on, on PropCon, um, when it's ultimately being used is you've got multiple listings, you've got lots of buyers, uh, and you're connecting the two together. Um, and you can also record your communication with your buyers and your sellers and so forth. When I'm talking about PropCon for now, it's to build your database and then to be able to communicate with them. Number one. Number two is we're going to be talking scripts just now when it talks about you be able to email a client your profile. You can set up your own profile on 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 uh, Popcon uh, with your listings. It has your listings and everything that you want on it, and a client can can link to that. There is also a section. I'm not sure whether it's part of the EXP um, contract or not, but you can actually do your digital uh, business cards as well for Popcon. So it's really your database management system. There again, um, many of us are new in, in, in relatively new in the market. And you'll get there. I just want to. I just want you to sow the seed to say that professional agents are working with, uh, with their CRM system. Um, they are working with it, and it is something that over a period of time that you want to get into. Okay. Any questions on on CRM and popcorn? Are we okay? These are all shouted ones. Okay. Let me just share the share the screen. Oh, how's it? Welcome. Well, go ahead. <laughs> okay. How do we get these popcorns? Okay. What so it's we... it, it's part of EXP. You would have seen part of the EXP emails where they say, what is your preference? Um, they can ask you, what is your CRM preference? Is PropCon or Prop Data? Go for PropCon. It is an easier system to use. Um, there is a little question there which EXP have sent out in an email recently in the last day. You then select PropCon. They will then be in touch with you to set you, set you up. And oh, if, okay. if you it, um, speak to Irene of at EXP and ask what we need to be doing next. Are we paying an extra amount for the popcorns or it goes with the virtual agent? It, it's uh, it's uh, the the um, the basic popcorn is now included as your 900 grand per month on EXP. It's included. Get... It, was, it wasn't there before. But since since the beginning of October, it's, it's well, since the beginning of September, it's now included. Oh, okay. That's perfect, Ben. Thank you. Yeah. Fantastic. The nice thing about Premier U and Tandeka is actually it works quite well in a partnership perspective. One of you is a little bit more database or kind of admin um, oriented. And then one of yeah. you one of you gets out and makes a contact. It's quite good for you to actually run see our, uh, pop, um, you know, run with uh, prop, uh, PropCon. Um, mm -hmm. And then between the two of you may, may work well. Um, so, yeah, but really do look at it quite seriously because that's 
that's the foundation of your long-term success. I know it's a bit of a hassle up front to work out how to use it and all that, um, but it's really going to be worth your while. Okay, cool. Um, all right, thank you. Fantastic, awesome, man. Great to have you. Um, okay, let's just go do this again. Um, then what you can look at is sometimes you can start looking at uh, virtual assistants. That's something you should consider in the future. I know we can talk about but getting you some kind of support. You know. Um, okay, so developing a professional approach is three things. It's uh, your, as I said, it's um, where are we now? Go through this. Habits and rhythms. It's how you present yourself and it's the relationship management. Okay. 